So you're a 3D artist. You've worked day and night on an amazing 3D animation that just looks so good when you render a still frame. You think about it. What if I could render the scene as a video and show it to others? So you go to the render settings, select 4K resolution, crank up all the light paths to full GI, set the samples to a huge high number, do heavy compositing, and then you hit render animation and... Uh, uh yeah, that's gonna take a while to finish. It really sucks when you wanna make something amazing, but your computer is holding you back. You think about asking your big bros to render your scene for you. But they're either too busy or they don't give a damn about your project. So how are you gonna render your scene? Is it all over? You came all this far just to give up hope and get back to a miserable life? Well, why not? There's still a solution for you. And it's called Render Farms. Now, what is a render farm, you might ask? A render farm is a high-performance computer system. Think of it as a computer cluster. Built to render computer-generated imagery or CGI, typically for film and television visual effects. So basically, you're getting your project rendered by a lot of computers, aka a computer cluster, which takes less time to get your scene done rendering. Render farms are a great thing, but they also come with a hefty price tag. Some have great deals and others are just gonna rip a hole in your pocket. But if you're a Blender user, then there's some good news for you. There's a community-based free render farm called Sheepit. Now, what is Sheepit? Like I said, it's a free distributed render farm for Blender that allows Blender users to render their projects free of any kind of financial cost. But yet again, not everything in this world is actually free and Sheepit also has a requirement. You'll need points to render your project. But are you gonna earn the points? Remember, Sheepit is absolutely free of cost and doesn't require you to pay money for rendering. Instead, you connect your PC to the Sheepit rendering system and render other people's projects first to get points. To get started in Sheepit, first you'll have to open an account. Go to the user icon on the top right Click it and click create a new account. Then create your account and also read the terms of use and privacy codes. Once you've created your account, log in and head to get started. Download the client of your operating system and then open the downloaded exe file. First thing we're gonna do is log in and go to the settings. You can set the theme to dark or light. I recommend using a dark theme because I freaking hate the light theme. Man, it hurts my eyes. You can set a directory for Shapey to download and save project files. Select your GPU as a computing device if you have one, or you could also go for CPU. Always remember to keep one core free so that your PC doesn't freeze. Also, you might want to leave 2-3 gigs of RAM for your PC to use it. You can set the priority whatever you want, but if you're gonna let ship it run in the background and use your PC as well, you might want to set the priority somewhere in the low. You can also block EV projects if you want because they're too fast to render and they get you very few points. Give your computer a name and then check save settings and also check auto sign in. Well, that's it, we're done. Now let Sheepit run for about 8 hours and you'll have enough points on your account. If you check your account on Sheepit, you'll notice they give you extra points for achievements such as render frame amount, render time, session time, and many more. Once you have about more than 10k points and minimum 10 rendered frames, you can render your own project on Sheepit. To render your own project on Sheepit, you'll need to do some optimization in your project to get it rendered without any issues like missing textures, simulations glitching, and so on. But if your blend file has no image sequence, video textures, or any particle simulations, then you can skip to this part. We will cover fluid simulations in another video as those need a different approach to optimize file size and render using Sheepit. To fix textures, we are gonna go to File, External Data, and check Automatically Packed Resources. This will save all the textures and other necessary files directly to your blend file. Also, you can go to Cleanup and get rid of unused files to reduce file size. For the movie textures, you will have to convert them to image sequences first. Select your object with a movie clip and go to the shader settings. First, locate where your movie clips are stored. Then, open a new blend file and select the video editing preset. Add in the movie clip on your timeline and set the start and the end frames as same as the video or set to the part that you'll need for the project. Then, in the render tab, match the resolution of your footage and adjust the percentage if you want to decrease the resolution while keeping the aspect ratio. Then, go to output and make a new folder named image sequence on your drive where you want to keep the files in. Better to make individual folders for each texture. Also make sure the file format is set to PNG. Now go hit render animation and follow the same steps for all the movie clips in your scene. Once you're done, copy the texture folders and paste them in a new folder. Also save your blend file in that same folder. While saving, click save as and bring out the right side menu. Click compress and remap relative and then save. Add your image sequences from the new folder as textures for your movie clip materials. Check cyclic and auto refresh. Now again, clean up unused data blocks to get rid of the unused movie clips. Now head on to your particle simulation 
uh, if you have any and click make now go to external data and click make patch relative this will make the patch relative for the image sequences and prevent missing files in the render farm you'll notice some files have failed to be made relative click the error and see which ones failed if you see your environment texture or a few auto save files failing, then don't worry. All still image files have been packed to into the blend file and they don't require remapping to relative. Go to your render settings and enter your desired resolution, frame rate, frame amount, set the device as GPU compute, or just leave it as it is. Set sample count in the render tab, adjust how many light paths you want. Uh, I recommend using full global illumination. And enable denoising and other things. Also go to performance and enable using spatial splits. Check your color management and compositor for one last time and then you're done with the blend file. Now all you gotta do is save the blend file and go to the folder where your blend file and the image sequences are in. If you see files like .blend1 or .blend add, those are auto set files and you can delete them or cut them out into a different folder. Make sure your folder is under 750 megabyte size as it is the upload size limit for Sheepin. For larger file sizes, we'll have to do some hardcore optimization, which we'll discuss in another video. By the way, mind subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out when I upload a new video. Thanks! Now compress your folder in a zip file. I'll be using WinRAR to compress the folder. Remember, Sheepit only supports .blend and .zip files. Anything else is unsupported. Once you're done compressing, head over to Sheepit's website and go to get started. Then scroll down and upload your zip file and click on send this file. Wait until the file is done uploading. Important note, do not by any means refresh the page when you are uploading. This will cancel the upload and you will have to upload the file again. Sheepit should add a browser pop-up for this thing. I've messed up so many uploads myself. Once the upload is complete, the page will auto-refresh and show you some new stuff. Select the Blender version you want to render in. You might want to leave it alone as Sheepit auto-detects the Blender version of your file. Select the compute methods you want to use. Then choose if you want to do a single frame or the whole animation. I recommend going for a single frame first time to test if the blend file is missing something or not. You can divide the frames into tiles if your scene is too intensive. But remember, this will disable the noise. You might see that there is a warning about some files not being found. Check their name and directory to understand if they're actually needed in the scene or not. For my scene, this is an orphan unused video file for an object which the cleanup failed to get rid of. Anyway, not an issue for this case. But if you're missing important files, then do the related mapping thing for those files mentioned previously and save, zip and upload again. Also for the sake of this video, I will enable generating an mp4 video for the project. Remember, this is server intensive and I recommend you not to enable this unless you really want to. Now once everything's clear, click add this blend. The site will load in a new screen. Now your project is on a queue waiting to start rendering. The more points you have, the higher position you'll be on the queue. Now all you gotta do is wait. You can also connect your computer using the Sheepit client that you downloaded and render your own frames for zero cost. Once a frame has started rendering, it'll appear yellow on the grid. When finished, a frame will become blue on the grid. To see your rendered frames, click the blue magnify button and then click on a frame to inspect it. Our first frame looks fine, so hopefully all other frames will render correctly. Also it says our project will take about an hour to finish. You can pause rendering if something's wrong by pressing the yellow pause button. You gotta refresh the grid window to see how far the rendering is done. Once all the frames have been rendered, you can download your frames by clicking the green download button or download the mp4 by clicking the green video button. And there you have it! Your project is done rendering. Congratulations! To convert the image sequence to a video file, try using the video editor in Blender. So this is how you use Sheepit. You can keep making points while running Sheepit while your PC is on idle. And that's all folks, hope you learned some valuable information from this video. I'm glad I could help you with rendering on a free render farm named Sheepin. If you have any questions, then please let me know in the comments. Share this video with a friend or a co-worker who needs help using Sheepin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.